when it comes to the role of the agent and your relationship and responsibilities, um, you know, I think this is quite a grey area for actors. You know, what what level of relationship should they have? How much can they contact them? Who's responsible for, for what? Can they still go and contact casting directors? So I just wanted to, I think maybe it varies depending on the agent and the individual. So just wanted to get your, your thoughts on this as well. Well, because I'm an actor myself, I understand how actors are feeling or have a, a you know, sense of identification mm. with the feeling of disconnection that can sometimes happen, um, but also wanting to have very simple questions answered. And it's not very difficult. So uh, we always believe in handing over information and giving, it, giving actors everything they need. Um, it's fine to call your agent between 10 and 6 or to text, uh, respect office hours, you know, and weekend hours, but we're reasonable, so if it's urgent, obviously we need to talk. I think what's most important, though, is that there's a feeling of equality between the actor and the agent, and that the power dynamic, if you like, has balance, Yeah. you know, and that we understand, yes, we have an arrangement. If I help you to achieve this, then I'll get rewarded, you know, mm financially, and that's what it's about. Power dynamics in the industry, I mean, that's a whole... It's massive, yeah. That's a big, a big current mm. issue. Um, so we try to work against that, because actors really are at the bottom of the barrel in this industry, in a sense. We're very disposable. Yeah. You know, people get penciled, and most good casting directors will let you know when a pencil is released. But very often, so, you know, sometimes the dates that an actor is penciled for will come and go, and nobody cares. Yeah. And the actor should be informed, in my opinion. So you should always be able to, you know, you know, if there is something like that outstanding, do ask your agent because they should follow up on it. We always do. How much do you help shape an actor's career? How much do you advise them on maybe the types of roles that are suitable for them, what perhaps isn't right? Um, you know, if, if they're doing comedy, let's, let's focus on that. How much are you kind of going Well, here's the thing, though. You kind of have to be different things to different people. You know what I mean? Um, I didn't realise that until I became an agent, of course. But, you know, some, um, an older person, might need something very different to a young person from Italy. Yeah. You know, one person might need a little bit more mentoring. Another p person might need very little, except the dates. Yeah. They've done it before and they, they know what they're they doing. They know exactly what yeah. they're doing, you know. Um, so you have to be a uh, different thing. So we try to be what we can. I try to gauge personally, yeah. you know, when I take on a, a, a client an actor, you know, what does this person need? What are my responsibilities yeah. to this person? What do I need to know? What do I need to find out about this person's talent and what they have to offer the industry? How can I leverage that yeah. and give them the best shot that they can have? That's quite a responsibility. Yeah. It should be taken seriously, in my opinion, because people have put a lot into it. You know, so that becomes a duty. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like what you just saw, then hit the subscribe button to see more. And if you want to see the full length version of these conversations, hop across to our website at actors-anonymous.com. Check it out.